another big game from you, RJ, but you guys needed this win tonight. You were up 10 heading into that fourth quarter. Can you describe the urgency that you played with down the stretch to make sure you guys won this one? Um, I think that everybody just, we just played hard. You know, we knew that in the fourth quarter, the intensity was different, and we just, we played hard and we got it done. When you have a night like this where both you and Julius Randle are hitting shots the way you do, how do you feel you pressure opposing defenses the most? Um, you know, it's great when, when we get downhill and, and we're able to attack and then just find people. You know, um, then it makes the game easier on Ed to hit those threes and Alec and really everybody. You were approaching a triple-double tonight, six assists. That ties a season high for you. Describe your mindset when not only are you hitting shots, but you're also finding your teammates. Um, I was trying my best, you know, I was trying my best, and I mean, really just six assists, teammates are just making shots. You know, they're making shots, and uh, you know, I thank them for that. Number 14 in jersey sales this week. What do you have to say to the fans? Thank you, Knicks fans. I love y'all. <laughs> Mike. Julius, there were a lot of things that this team did very effectively uh, today. What what stands out to you about what was most effective about this win? Um, I think uh, just our togetherness on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, they obviously they made runs, ups and downs in, in the game, but uh, shared the ball pretty well um, and defended. Um, after halftime, I think we defended pretty well. Um, you know, Reggie Jackson was hurting us a little bit, but uh, figured that out a little bit. And then um, just was solid. I think we were really solid throughout the game. With the offense, the starters, there was a lot of chemistry, a lot of ball movement going on. But when both you and RJ are scoring as effectively as you are, how do you see the defense shift in order to try to pick up both of you the way they do? Um, it's tough. Um, we definitely, definitely it's tough when we both got it going because um, we can really play off each other and then we can help others, you know, put others in, uh, you know, get easier shots for, for you know, Mitch and, and Evan. And then, you know, it's just chemistry. Everybody's touching the ball. Everybody's, you know, feeling good in their rhythm. Big picture on this one, you know, you're heading out on the road mm -hmm. three games this week. You're home for two and then right back out on the road. How good was it to get this win today here and, and set things straight at the Garden? Uh, really good. You know, we obviously didn't like how we played, <clears throat> you know, the, those games, earlier games at home. But um, play well today and, you know, we are, uh, you know, excited, you know, to go on the road. Um, and just start building some momentum. Uh, we felt like we were playing well and, you know, kind of got hit here at home um, after we were playing so well at home. But, uh, you know, ended it right. Can't look back. And now, we you know, we're looking forward to this road trip and, and taking in the game at a time. What did you like about how you played today? It looked like the other night you looked a little – did you make some adjustments or different mindset? Uh, what I liked about today was just, uh, you know, very efficient and, and getting to my spots on the floor, uh, you know, and making quick decisions or, you know, just making an easy decision. I have to not look back and look ahead. Mm -hmm. Are you kind of feeling that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> For me, uh, personally, I try to take every day uh, at one, at a, one at a time. And, uh, you know, there's no point in looking, you know, back. Uh, in the past, you know, you learn from the past and, and stuff like that, but there's no point in looking back and um, I really don't look ahead, you know, to the future, um, you know, because that's the unknown. So for me, it's just about taking every day, um, getting better every day. Felt like, you know, we, us as individuals and, and as a team, you know, we took a step forward today and that's what mattered. RJ's had some really hot streaks and they kind of cooled off, not hot again. It's been, it's been three weeks now where he's been playing at a really high level. Do you? Do you see him doing stuff that, that he hasn't been doing over his first time? <clears throat> uh, just playing to his strengths. Um, you know, he's kind of figuring out knowing who he is as a player. And uh, he's playing to his strengths. And, uh, you know, it makes us a really tough team when he plays like that. The only blemish today, congratulations on the win, was a seven turnover. So right. It like a lot of them came off the double teams. All right. What's your assessment in terms of what the team has to do to capitalize when they come in double? Uh, we work on it every day. Uh, it's just about cleaning it up. And uh, you know, just uh, making the right reads, stuff like that. Chris, we, we haven't seen you in this room for a while. What, what was that about? Uh, why weren't you coming to the room? Uh, it's just a team that make me available. For all those games. What was your reaction to the 
you know, honestly, I appreciate Mr. Dolan. Um, you know, uh, he's he's great. Uh, but like, the reaction was just a team that make me available, and you know, all I can do is my job as a player, a team to make me available, and that's it. Coach, you let this one start to finish, and you, know, you often talk about winning every, focusing on every possession. What did you see today? I thought the start was really good to play from a lead. Good high energy, uh, sharing the ball, tied together defensively, um, and then the rebounding was terrific. Mm -hmm. When you've got RJ and Julius both hitting shots as effectively as they were today at the same time, how do you see that pressure the defense? Well, I think it, it's more a byproduct of, you know, when the ball moves and everyone's touching it and you're making the right decisions. And if you're open, shoot. If you're not open, make a play for your teammate. And when we do that, the, the offense is very effective. So it was good to see. And I want them to have the mentality when they're open to shoot it, shoot it, and think it, it's going in. And if, and if it doesn't go in, you think the next one's going in. Just have that mindset. And defensively, Coach, the Clippers cut this thing to seven. But then what did you see was key from your team down the stretch? Well, I think you, you know teams are going to make runs. And so you have to have the mental toughness to buckle down, get a, a good set, execute, and then get a stop. So we always say, you know, score, stop, score. So you can get on a run and turn it quickly. And so, and that's what you have to do. You have to have that toughness. You got to understand the fourth quarter is different. There's a different intensity to it. Um, so playing hard and playing smart and playing together is critical. And Julius was terrific. You know, like just you know, not looking backwards, just looking ahead. You know, think about the next play. Think about what we have to do. Just be aggressive, attack the rim, and then go from there. RJ has had stretches where he's gotten hot and he's cooled off, but he's sustained this one for like three weeks now where he's really been at a different level. Do you see something that's, that's more sustainable? I, I just think his aggressiveness. You know, I think he's, he's gaining more experience. Uh, I think he has a confidence level that's come from his preparation. and. And now he's been through the league a few times. And so, you know, I think he's growing every day. You see it. And he's playing at a better pace, which is important for us. It's important for him, but it's important for us. How do you see his decision-making coming to that? Uh, it's, it's good. I think, do I think it could be better? Yes. Do I think it could be better for our whole team? Yes. So you can't be satisfied. You want to continue to grow. You've got to challenge yourself. You've got to stretch yourself. You've got to work and concentrate on getting better every day. So, you know, uh, RJ size, he's, he has the ability to shoot the ball, put it on the floor. Uh, we probably haven't seen enough of him in the post, but I think that he can do that as well. And so it's a different way to, for us to get the, the defense to collapse and then trust when the second defender comes to spray. So what do you think about, um, how do you assess uh, quickly uh, distribution of the ball today, getting into the paint, and it also your team's assessment against the double team. It seems like most of Julius's turnovers came on those double teams. Yeah, and we'll get a good look at the film to see what the reads were. Um, and so, some it, you know, it was something that we work on every day, and so we got a lot of good offense off of it, but we also have to understand in the fourth quarter that intensity is different. The decisions have to be made quicker, and so. Uh, and part of it, it, the two things are tied together, the progression of the reads and also people getting to the spots quickly so that it's easy to get the ball out of the trap. So I don't want to fight pressure with pressure. So I think if we can recognize how to get the ball out quickly and get to the back side, that's where the easy offense is. And so and when the times that we do that, it, it oftentimes, particularly with Derek and, and Kemba, they get blitzed in the pick and roll. They're very good at getting the ball out of the blitz without fight, fighting it. And then what you end up with is really high percentage shots on the weak side, and you also get the second shot opportunity. So we got to continue to grow and trust the pack.